Okay then, we can begin. <clears throat> Park CTR challenge. This should be fairly easy. At least I think so. Should be. Should be fairly easy. Ah, hopefully we'll get both worlds done. Who knows? Maybe we might get the fourth world done as well. If we're lucky for time. If we're lucky. I mean, most races probably take like three minutes anyway, so... We'll see. Let's see if we can see where the tokens are here. Uh, no, I could... Oh, I see C. C, C. But I don't see any others. One of them's in here, I'm pretty sure. Hmm, maybe not. Oh, see, there's T. Now, where is R? If anyone spots it and I don't, feel free to, to give me some tips. Hmm. Oh! Got it. <laughs> Let's go. Now I can unleash my full power. I found that finding the CTR tokens is considerably harder than it was on uh, the original PS1 version of the game. And that is because the graphics are vastly improved, so there's a lot more visual clutter. It's really hard to find, you know, shiny, shiny uh, golden blobs when pretty much everything else in the game is like shiny blobs, so... In fact, it makes some some of them pretty invisible. Like the one in, uh, I, forgot, I don't know what the track is called, but it's the one with the lava in the middle of it. 
the one I had, to, I had to actually had to look up because I legitimately could not see it. And even when I did uh, finally see it, it was practically impossible. Like, it was still practically invisible and I was looking straight at it. <clears throat> I would say that's like a, a complaint I have, but it's not too much of a complaint. Not too big of one. I mean, that's just what happens if you... If they wanted uh, the CTR tokens to remain the same and how they looked, they were going to just blend in. Ah, okay. So that's going to be a tough one. I know that one of them has... To oh, I think I know where these are, actually. One of them's right here, isn't it? One of them's on there, yep. Oh, whoa. It's gonna be a bit difficult to get. Although I think we have to get it uh, on the, the second half of the map. This half here. Oof. I was looking at my gauge. Oh, I didn't get it. I should think that was my own as well. Right, I'm pretty sure Common we can get it this time. I'm gonna go around this pretty carefully. Nice. That's how it's done. I genuinely thought I was gonna have to do a massive jump at the start there to, to get the T. You don't take the shortcut in the last corner? Mm. No, I've never done it. So I don't know how to do it. I would have to go into town trial mode or whatever, or like just, oop, we just dropped some money. I would have to practice it first because I don't know how to properly do it. So I've never done it. I know it's really easy though. You just drift into the corner and you jump the place. And I imagine it's honestly, that's probably a lot easier than going around the long way. Because on the long way, if you're, if you're boosting, you just go straight into the piranha. And it's, it's almost impossible. You have to, slow down to stop yourself. But I, I think I'll try it. Maybe during the time trial, because I'm confident I'll probably need to do it for the time trial to save time. I think I did try and do it a couple times on the original PS1 version. It's a habit. Like the upper passage on sewer speedway. I think that's also the one I don't do because it was kind of hard to do, but then I discovered it's actually kind of piss easy. You just need to drive off the edge. <laughs> so, so you can see them. C is there. I saw T for a second there, I'm pretty sure.
I also don't know how to do this correctly. The star. I'm getting my boxes stolen. I think it's right at that corner. Ooh, that's that's gonna be a hard one. Might have to sacrifice a, a life for that. Sacrifice. Oh, I won. Well, I'm just gonna run into every single one of those. That's fine. Ow, you didn't need to do that. Nice, we got it. I thought I was going to hit that. And that's how it's done. Nice. So we've got uh, one more. No, one or two more to go in this world. We also have the crystal challenges as well. Which I haven't done. I've I've only done the uh, the first one, and I hear they get pretty pretty difficult. Or I've seen they get pretty difficult, especially in, like the last world. One of these is, is uh, going to be on the shortcut, so we're going to need an uh, explosive for that. Does this game feel like the PS1 uh, one? Because the Crash Bandicoot and Sync Trilogy was pretty accurate. This this feels almost exactly like the original. At least I'd say. Because I've played quite a lot of it. I haven't played CTR, the original, recently. But from what I remember, this is pretty dead on. I should have done it to get an idea of where they were. Get the slow lane, buddy. Let me just get that. Oh, okay. I can get that later. That's not good. Yeah, this is pretty much perfect. I'm gonna save this for the shortcut. Let's try and get C this time. Got it. 
you kidding me? It didn't work? Damn. You can also use a butler's shield for the shortcut. Yeah, anything you can throw forward. That's not good. If we don't get anything good here, we have to restart. Now we have to restart. See either. So we can't get an R either. Mm, I wonder. Damn it, that didn't work. I was hoping that was gonna work. Got it. Man, look how fast you can go when you don't have anything to worry about. The AI is like miles behind. Mm. That's what I really like about this game. It's super skill based. Like your power ups factor in, but if you're playing this versus Mario Kart, this is vastly more skill based. <laughs> I would say the only problem this game has. We're going to have to get the Sacred Fire Glitch. I don't think I know what that is. Usually they like to keep glitches in. At least most of the time I've seen anyway. I'm not so good at time trials. But, uh... We'll see. I'm I'm not very I'm good at speeding around the map, but I'm not good at controlling where I'm speeding. So like picking up boxes and stuff like that. I'm not so good at that.
Damn, I didn't manage to get those. And speed on you want to... Ah. Uh, yeah. Got, we got one of them, that's fine. Missed it. Just the sapphire. I'm good with that. I'm good with getting just the sapphire. Not too miffed about it. You pick you in order to get like a platinum. You basically need to get every box. In fact, I actually don't think it's basically you. I think you're required to get every single box to get a platinum. <laughs> and if you're able to do that in a timely manner, then I guess... Relic races are tough. If you want platinum, you need to get all the crates to have the minus 10 seconds and be super fast. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm fine with getting sapphires. Well, I miss all those. I always forget when I'm supposed to jump there. Oof. This is bad. I know when this one was hell. I can just imagine. Cause this feels like it would be hell. Kinda maybe. Didn't even get that. You know, let's restart and try again. I can do way better. And also not fall off the map like 40 times. Ah, I shouldn't have jumped over that. Oh, 
Well, that was a pretty good turn. Yeah, no, I'm gonna hit the wall. Ugh. We need to not hit the wall. There's a massive flurry of crates right there. Damn. jump at the end of that. I don't mind not even get platinum. Sorry, uh, Sapphire. I'm not even gonna get Sapphire. Jesus. Hmm. Come on. I hate how you lose so much speed from that. Damn, I wanted to go out of my way to get those ones. And it was getting none. I just can't do that. I can't do that jump. Fuck off. Jeez, this map. I really, really dislike this map. Probably my least favorite course in the game. It just... It's not that fun. 
plus the piranha ranges and stuff like that where it really looks like they shouldn't hit you. Oh, damn. Yeah, this looks like a ma like an absolute hell map. them to data plan see ya well see you later then hmm so we've got two two more levels to go and we'll be done with the first, with well, the second roll, I guess. The first roll of this string. Great. You've earned a relic. Great. You've earned a relic. <laughs> relic race time. Um. Mmm. Untoasted toaster waffles. This map looks like a lot of fun. Let's go. Didn't even hit that. Classy. I jumped over that, damn it. Don't hit me. Thank you. Um, whoa, okay. Three box there. Fuck, I didn't jump. Oh, 
I'm just spamming A. Perfectly fine with getting Sapphire. Got on the first try, which is kind of rare. We're still not done with this world, and we've been streaming for 40 minutes. Oh, shit. No doubt there's a ton of crates in, uh... No doubt there's a ton of crates in the, uh, what's it called? Shortcut. Although, I think the shortcut's opened up here, isn't it? It's basically like a, a hint going like, go here, asshole. <laughs> Whoa, I almost wanted that. Oh, that's a tight turn to get that one. those. Well, uh, I guess we're going No box lap. <laughs> nah, we're going for boxes. Because a bunch of three boxes is very much nice. That's not a bam loop happened on Dead by Daylight. Cool, nice. Gold, nice. Hmm. Great. You've earned a relic. 
They stayed until Wake Up gets fixed. There will be overnight ban waves for those using the exploit. Well, congratulations. Wake Up just got fixed. So they shouldn't be banning people anymore for using it. Alright, this will be the first time playing on this map, obviously, so give me a bit of leeway for being terrible. Ah, okay. Damn, I can't even get any of those. Ah! What about people will still try it? Will try and use Wake Up? Absolutely, people will obviously try and use it. Can't get any of those there, let's go all the way around. Oh, come on. So we're gonna sneak in between here. Oh, come on. Let's go! Where are the rest? I know there's one right here. I actually genuinely don't know where the rest are. Oh, they're under, they're under there, okay. Gonna be sneaky beaky like. It's mid tier as it is. Wake up? Uh, it's too situational. It's like, kinda low tier. It's like super low tier. I still like to use it because it's kind of gimmicky. That is when I play Survivor. Which isn't very often now. Come on, get out. I like that sound when you pick it up. Ouch.
Oh, okay. Okay, so how do we root that? Hmm. Situational army mid tier most of the time. Damn, I didn't even get speed boost. So I think we should get this one, get this one, turn around and get this one. Saves us some time there. And then everything else, let's just freeform it. Damn it, come on. Not in there. This is probably like the worst route in history, but... Where the heck is the last two? They're right here, aren't they? I got an idea. Come on, grab it for fuck's sake. I hate this one so much. Where's the last one? Where is the last one? Oh god damn it, it's over there. Alright. Vaguely shit wrote, but whatever, we can we can deal with that. Oh come on. Damn. No! Fucking Christ. I didn't even hit that.
dude. Yeah, we're not getting it this time. I fucking swear to God. Jesus. Are you fucking kidding me? I hate this one. This one fucking sucks. Come on, fucking grab it. I can't believe I got that. And that's how it's done. All right, we got it. Get me the hell out of there, because I don't like those. But hey, that's the second roll complete, 100%-ish. 100%, just getting sapphire relics and stuff. Nice, let's go on to this world. Excuse me. I don't think this is the first track that you normally go on to, but whatever, we'll, we'll deal with it. You get a TNT crate and your head start hopping immediately. If you hop enough times, the TNT crate will fall off before it explodes. Useful info. Damn, I should have let it play out. Get the slow lane, buddy. Oh.
Don't worry. I'm just getting that. Now where is C? There is C. <laughs> I just surfed on top of those two. And there in the gameplay. <sighs> Dr. Pepper, world's greatest refreshment. Sure, we'll do Tiny Arena next. I'm pretty sure it's meant to be the third one, the third level, but whatever. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure next is, uh, well, after this one, it was supposed to be Dragon Mines? Or was that the third level? And Tiny Arena was the fourth. I don't remember. Whatever, it doesn't really matter what order we do it in. Should have uh, waited to see where they were. Got it. I haven't seen any others so far. There's C. Nice. Now we can just race like normal.
Oh, I missed all of them. And this game is so much fun when you're just driving. You can cut loose. Nice. Oh, my controller just vibrated for no reason. Mmm, Dr. Pepper. Mmm. Can't wait to get a Dr. Pepper sponsorship in the future. That'd be nice. Mmm. Dragon Mines were supposed to be next. <clears throat> Man, today has been an insanely warm day. Pretty, pretty crazily warm. Of course, Tarif decides to get super duper warm the uh, the weekend I get my Valve Index. One of them is going to be on the, uh, what's it called? The, the, the mines. Oof. No? Ah, there's a... you have to reset there, though. Oh, and this one's up here. Isn't it, like, right on, on here-ish? No? Hmm. Yeah, I can't throw rockets backwards. Oh god, why me? Why me? Dude, that thing was chasing me through heaven and hell. Oh. 
God damn. Missiles are super homing. <laughs> They're like, oh, I didn't get you this time. Well, I'm gonna come all the way back around. Well, Trevor, what's the worst that could happen? Knocks over a new headset. Pretty much. <clears throat> I cannot wait to get rid of my Vive Pro. Honestly, I'm thinking maybe just selling it to Kidneys slash Aaron. You probably don't know, but he's been on a couple of my streams in the past. <laughs> I'm thinking of just being like, hey, give me 50 bucks and I'll give you my Vive Pro that I spent 100 pounds on. Kronk? I've never seen Kronk before. Polar Pass, CPR Challenge. <clears throat> Man, it's going to be so much fun playing with the Valve Index, especially with all the... Uh, like the titles coming out for it, like the, the new portal small game. The new portal uh, app it's, they, they just released for it. I know for a fact that one of them is around this corner. I love doing this. Yeah. Um, okay, you don't do that. We can get that next time. The final one is going to be the shortcut, isn't it? No. So those, those two are on jumps that I need to be pretty specific about. <laughs> yeah, so it's just, that's just a walk off. You have to... Or I guess drive off, I suppose. Kidding me? How am I supposed to get that? I didn't even jump.
Why? How do we get this? That didn't hit me, come on. <laughs> That's not hitting me. Fucking Christ. <laughs> the new uh, One Punch Man game? Nah. The, uh, the one that got a trailer yesterday looks so goddamn jank. Like, it looks like it was made by Spike Chunsoft, which it was, but you know. It's like a, a prime Spike Chunsoft game. I mean, it's kind of weird because the game doesn't look super jank if you haven't played their previous game, which was you know, obviously My Hero One's Justice. But then actually looking at the game after you play that, it looks super jank. I'm supposed to get this. Got it. Nice. Let's go. Yeah, it looks super drunk. And everyone has pointed at quite a quite a key problem. One Punch Man. A One Punch Man game where One Punch Man has to fight. That doesn't seem very sensible. Dude, I fucking hate these seals. They have the biggest hitboxes ever. And I'm not gonna call bullshit there, I'm just talking about in general. But they did hit me there. still gonna play the One Punch Man video game. Probably. Don't see a reason not to, I guess. It's probably gonna suck ass on PC, and the fact that it isn't made by Arc System makes me automatically kind of half vomit in my pants, but oh well. At least be published by Arc System, please. I know it's not, but... I'm meaning just in general. I mean, how I go about making a One Punch Man game is have it like the anime, you just do day to day things and the fights are just there to show off art style. That would be pretty boring now.
I mean, you could do it. You could do it like Dynasty Warriors and have like a bajillion enemies. Then Saitama couldn't just one punch everyone, or you make a One Punch Man game where you don't primarily play as One Punch Man, as Saitama. Make it so you play as Genos or uh, anyone else, the other bajillion heroes, and then have Saitama be like an occasional thing where you can play as him at some point. I wasn't paying attention, that's why I didn't get the boost. I don't know which way to turn. Okay, I guess I'm not getting any there. Damn, I didn't even get the good one. You'd be surprised how many people like that type of thing. I mean, I'm pretty sure people are just gonna be happy to get a One Punch Man game on a console while wow, I'm sucking ass. Because I'm pretty sure we're all sick of getting anime games on, on the mobile. I know that I'm pretty sick of getting anime games on mobile. And that's how it's done. Like My Hero, the fucking I Wanna Be a Hero game that's coming out for, for mobile. Why does it have to come out for mobile? Why can't you make like a, a good My Hero Academia game that doesn't involve fighting people? Or like fighting other people? I do kind of just wish that they could make anime games that aren't fighters. I understand it's the, it's the it's the de facto standard, it's the normal. It's just the most sensible thing that you can do in, with most animes, is just make a fighting game. But we need, we definitely need a lot more variety. I would love to play a I would love to play a My Hero Academia game where you play as like all the heroes of class class UA. Sorry, uh yeah, was it class 1A? Yeah, that's it. In class 1A. And even and even people in class 1B and like the 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 uh actual pro, pro heroes. I'd love to play a game like that where you're in an open world and you're leveling all of those characters up and getting abilities and they're getting better and... You know what I mean? Something that isn't a fighting game. Because not every, not every anime game needs to be a fighting game. I guarantee you there's a ton of boxes of that. Maybe not actually. But it just seems kind of nonsensical to have pretty much all anime games be fires. Although I will admit, every other time they've tried to not make a fighting anime game, they've kind of sucked ass. So. 
I wouldn't blame them if they just wanted to stick to mechie fighting games. Like, uh, One Punch... No, not One Punch Man. One Piece, World Seeker. Apparently that sucked ass. We have Dragon Ball Z Kakarot coming out next year. Which looks okay, but doesn't look like special or anything. I wouldn't say it looks phenomenal, I would say it looks okay. But that's just about the gist of it when it comes to anime fighting, well, anime games that are fighters. Most of them are just okay. I hate that turn so much. Even after learning about drifting, I still can't perform that turn that well. Yeah, give us some original... original game styles. Like, stop doing 3D arena fighters and stop doing 2D side scroll fighters and start making something kind of cool and kind of original but it, I, I can understand though that's that's not an easy thing to ask in fact it sounds very, very entitled to ask for something like that but I think it's, it's just they deserve more And at least if they're making a fighting game of a specific franchise, I would prefer if they were also making something else as well. That this wasn't their only chance to... Like, this was, it wasn't the only thing they were going for. Like, hey, this new cool anime came out. What do we do with it? We make a fighting game. Like, cool, but what else can we do with it? Like, how do we, how do we transition this into something that, that the people who watch the show would want to play? Like, how do we represent the show well in an in a uh, interactive format? And, again, the easiest thing is obviously a fighting game, but... And it's something that's, that's uh, AR, well, PvE. They actually did it with One Piece, where they made a One Piece Dynasty Warriors game, which I think was pretty good. I, I mean, I didn't really hear much about it, but I didn't hear people say that it was terrible. I didn't hear anything bad about it, so I'm just going to assume that it wasn't bad. Like, do something like that for more franchises. Something that allows me to... Because let's be honest, fighting games don't actually allow you to play as those characters in respective manners a lot of the time. This is going to be a hard one, by the way. But a lot of the time, you need to be pretty, pretty... Depending on the character you're playing as, like for example, if you're playing as All Might in My Hero Wants Justice, unless you're completely dominating the other person, like hand over fist, you're not, you're not really playing All Might, are you? Like, in, in, of course, unless you're against All For One, then yeah, of course she's going to struggle, but most of the time, they don't represent the character that well. You have to balance everyone around each other instead of having people be at the wrong rank. I'm getting pretty sick of this. My fucking stream, or my fucking PC, has blue screened three times now in the middle of a stream. I'm getting really sick of it. 
I don't know what the fuck is up with it, but I'm gonna, after the stream's over, I'm gonna deal with it. This is just ridiculous. Idea what's wrong with my PC. It was fine like a month ago, now it's just been acting up all fucking weird. Conversation where we on? Oh yeah, power levels and stuff like that. See, the, the most I don't mind blue screening in the middle of the stream a lot of the time. But the problem is, it now makes putting those streams together incredibly frustrating. Because now I have to physically edit together part one and part two of my stream. I'm sick of just posting multiple parts and, and saying in the comment section that my PC blue screen and you're gonna have to deal with it. That's incredibly frustrating. Ah, uh, what? Uh, excuse me? How did we get a platinum? Okay, we got a platinum medal, I guess. Bizarre. But yeah, I'm gonna have to download both of these streams and clip them together and upload them to myself, to my YouTube. Yikes. <clears throat> oh well. I'll run a virus scan and see if I can fix these shit. I'm getting service error exceptions. And I don't really know how to fix those because those are incredibly generic. I have to look through crash logs. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, the topic we were on, the beautiful topic that was totally oh, interesting and not just a uh, waste of time. Life. Was how being a, playing a fighting game an anime fighting game doesn't represent the characters that well. I'm sure it's pretty obvious why I don't really need to explain it, to be honest. Because you, uh, you have to balance everyone around each other. Well, in a game where it's like PvE, you can technically make everyone at different power levels. And of course, you can then make them power up as you go along, so they get stronger and stronger. You could make... And you can pace a game that way as well. <laughs> Where if they did make a open world My Hero Academia game, the hard sections could be with Midoriya. That's a good start. But the hard sections of the game could be with Midoriya or Uraraka or someone who has relatively little fighting power. And the easy sections of the game could be with All Might. So you can base the game that way as well. Damn it. I like how you can turn midair. You can break slide midair, it's very nice.
shit. I didn't mean to just cut the engines. Also, yeah, we got a platinum. We got, we somehow got a platinum there. I do steal so much. I fucking hate those seals, come on. I always remember to go, uh, when it comes to the seals, I should go where they currently are. Because that means I won't bump into them if they're moving, obviously. Yeah, I just think the anime games deserve better. Fucking Christ. Plus, even a mediocre anime game, one that isn't a fighting game, even a mediocre one, usually satisfies its fans pretty well. Is anything is better than Malgan. I just think they could be great games in their own right. So where are we? We was that the last relic? <laughs> so the blue screen annoys me even more because we're so close to just being done with this stream. So it's just, it's just like, Great. You a relic. yeah, we got everything. Now all that's left is this frustrating nonsense. Uh, hopefully this one won't be as bad. Blue screens can lead to data corruption, I know. I have actually not played this one. I've at least played the other two. I'm pretty sure I haven't played this one. This is the first one my fucking up. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. 
Don't fall off. We missed that one up there. We missed that one over there. Okay. So we should... Honestly, I think we should go all the way around first. All the way around the side. Ah, uh, seriously, you don't get it? Did you get hit? That's balls. Ah, uh, no, I miss. I did not hit that. Come on, game. Like, I wasn't aiming for that. Yeah, this is going to be a massive pain in the ass. Ginormous. I really dislike these. They're just not that fun. Still can't get that. Missed that. We're restarting. We can get it. Nice. So good. You just gotta brute a little bit. Tiny, tiny bit. Oh, well, time to download both of these streams and then stitch them together. <sighs> and that's us done with this world. Next we have this world. Cool. Okay. We are done for now.
and we'll probably be able to finish this off next stream. I think, anyway. How long? How much more do we have? We still need to get the gems, the gem cups. So we're gonna have to replay every single course again and get uh, first place. Which shouldn't be too hard. <clears throat> and then what are the other stuff? There's the bonus speed track. Here's the other bonus thing you get for the gems. And then we have to face Oxide again, which we can do in about two and a half hours, I would say. It takes about an hour per world to get all of the uh, the CTR tokens and the relics, and then the uh, crystals. So we should be pretty fine for, do for finishing off the campaign next stream. After that, I'll probably play a bit of multiplayer. I'm not, I'm not too sure if I'm really wanting to play this game for multiplayer, but we'll see. I think it, it's worth playing because... You know, never got to play the original multiplayer because blah, it's in the PS1. But still, <clears throat> thank you for watching. I will see you either later tonight or tomorrow. Alright, see you for now.